Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Yusuf Gwen, and in today's video, I'm very excited to share with you two things. The first is how to create consistent characters, and the second is how to prompt. These are the things that people find very challenging when it comes to image generation how do you tell ai to give you a particular character and it does which is prompting and how do you generate consistent characters how do you make your image to look the same in different scenes which is generating consistent characters and in today's video this is what we are going to learn so if you are interested i would like you to like this video and i would like you to stick to the end of this video because the second part of this video is how to prompt and the first part of this video is how to generate consistent characters so subscribe like and let's get straight to the video to get started click the neonado.ai link in my description if you're new click on get started here and if you're not just go to launch app and sign in the first thing you need to do is enter your email address and your password so we're going to go ahead and accept cookies After that, enter your email address, sign in, and you will be redirected to the main page. Leonardo gives you 150 daily credit to be able to create your characters. We have different icons we can work with, but for the purpose of this video, we're going to just generate an image, which is the essence of this video. Here, you'll be asked to type in your prompt. Uh, for the purpose of this video, we are going to use a simple prompt. Here, our prompt is create a beautiful image of Guinevere in the forest. As you can see, it, this is just a simple prompt. So, Nolando doesn't know the exact character you are looking for. It is going to give us a random image of Guinevere in the forest. So, let's see what we, we are going to get. And here we have it, a warrior princess. <laughs> this is what we might not be looking for. There are three ways we can generate consistent character using neonado.ai. The first one is giving your character a name. So you can call your character Sarah. You can call your character Laura. You can call your character Frank. You can just type in a name when you're typing in the prompt. I don't know if you understand what i mean then the second one is image to image by copying the previous image you generated and adding it to the prompt bar allows you to generate a similar image something that looks exactly like the previous one and the last method which is the best is copying the previous image prompt seed there is something that is called prompt seed and i'll demonstrate all of that in the video so let's let's go back let's go back let's continue with the tutorial for image to image generation click on this icon facing opposite each other then you'll be brought to this page click on image to image and confirm the preferred image will be added to the prompt bar and we can decide to modify uh prompt by adding additional text to it or by adding additional information to it and we are going to see if we'll still get the same whenever so we are going to say create a beautiful image of whenever in the forest by with a, a dog by her side so let's see if we are going to get the same whenever uh, with a dog by her side or not let's see what we are going to get now here we have it the same whenever with a dog by her side as you can see it's still the same image but we now have a dog by her side if you do not use this there is a chance that you will not get the same image you will have some modifications to it 
but now all we have is a dog added to the side of whenever the downside with image to image is that you cannot modify the action of the image used as guide example if we say create a beautiful image of Guinevere in the forest sitting with a dog by her side, we cannot get Guinevere to be seated. So let's see. As you can see, Guinevere is standing while the dog is sitting. This is the downside of image to image generation. You can hardly change the action of the character but the other elements can be changed um, while you struggle with changing the action of the character. Even when you try to generate it again, it will still remain the same. You will still get the same results. You still get the same whenever standing up. You cannot change the action, but you can change the other elements like the dog, the background and other things. But whenever it will be the same. So let's see what we'll have. Um, this is a second trial. So this is a dog sitting by whenever it is still standing up. Um, so this is the challenge we have with image to image generation. What do we not do? So what we can do is use what we call seed by deleting the image, then you copy the seed of the generation so how do you do this click on the three dots at the right side above the image and click on copy seeds now go to your prompt and paste the seed click on generate this is the same prompt but a seed is added let's see what happens now let's see if Gonever will be sitting down now we have deleted the image, but we have the seed. Let's see what happens. Now you see Guinevere is sitting down. So this is how it's done. This is the secret. Um, copying the seed is the secret to changing the action of the character, the main character. Now let's try and modify our prompt let's add another action to it let's say maybe let whenever be in another location like a lake let me see what happens and if we're going to see whenever in a lake uh, or something and here we have it whenever is standing on the lake and we can decide to do whatever we want with this image so this is the secret to getting a consistent character so now we are done with the first part of the video and we are going to move to the second part this second part is about prompt guide what do you add in your prompt to get the exact image you're looking for if we if you notice we just gave a simple prompt about generate a beautiful image of a 23 year old girl in a forest that prompt is nothing and leonardo just gave us a random warrior girl which most likely is what i am not looking for or what you will not be looking for so this second part i will teach you how to prompt i'll teach you what to add in your prompt to get exactly what you're looking for so prompting is the major thing to getting what you want and here this is how to go about it so the first thing is you have to choose an ai model example vintage 3d model you name it the second thing you need to do is to name your character so if you notice i named my character whenever this allows you to create consistent character even after modifying the description. All right. Thirdly, you need to describe the age of your character. How old is your character? My 23 years, like we described. So, fourthly, the race. Is your character black, white, Asian, Caucasian? How does your character look like? What is the race? Then, 
the next thing you need to do is to describe your character describe the hair describe the outfit of your character what is your character putting on how does the hair look like is it afro is it wavy is it coily is it straight what type of outfit is your character putting on then the next thing you need to do is to describe the action what is your character doing simple and the last thing you need to do or the last prompt you need to add is the location of your character where is your character is your character standing on the forest sitting down walking by the roadside where exactly is your character these are all the things you need to do and these are the all the things you need to add to your prompt actually and there is when you do this you have literally gotten the perfect prompt for your image so this is an example of what i mean create a beautiful vintage which is the ai model of a 23 year old which is the age um light skin girl like the race is light skin girl um whenever is the name of the character long wavy and brown okay long wavy and brown she wears a beautiful white dress which is the description of the hair and outfit and she's playing a piano which is the action of what whenever is doing introduced in a plain milk background decorated with flowers which is the location now we are going to copy this and go back to leonardo and paste it here we are so let's click on image generation before we paste it always remember to choose your image dimension your preset and everything the number of images you can go to advanced setting and check what you want just choose what you prefer and experiment with it honestly but we and anything can work any selection can work provided we are using the right prompt okay now let's paste it and see what results we are going to get when we click on generate and here we have it exactly what we asked for so this is a beauty image of a 23 year old and her hair is wavy and long she she wears a white dress like described she's playing a piano like described her background is milky and decorated with flowers as described so in general i'm pleased it's gave me exactly what i asked for yeah this is this is very beautiful very very beautiful um exactly what we ask for what we ordered is what we got <laughs> so this is so cute very beautiful you can decide to download it to your pc or to your phone to add motion click here and generate we can add motion to our image which can be used for our storytelling videos and all that so as you can see this is so beautiful let's view it and see how it looks like this is turning we have come to the end of the video please like please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video um i enjoyed the making of the video and ask questions if you have any um i hope this video was helpful to you and leave a comment hit the like button it helps with the algorithm it helps to reach out to more people so that i can be encouraged to make more videos for you all right Thank you so much. See you in my next video. Bye.